Hi and welcome to this tutorial. My name is Michael Novello and today we are going to create um, an airbrush movie style photo painted effect, something like this. As you can see in the image, it looks pretty awesome and we're going to create that. So let's jump in and let's go to the original image. This is the image. Um, you can download it at pixabay.com. Just type in cowboy and you will get this image here. Okay, um, at first let's go and create, um, let's get rid of this, the lock here of the background layer and let's um, convert this to a smart object. So the first steps I do with this image, I want to have a more crunchy look on this image. So I'm going to filter camera raw filter and I want to crank up the clarity all the way up because we want to real stylize this image we want to have these wrinkles, uh, the beard, the, all the stuff. We want to that it jumps out. And for this, I'm cranking up the clarity and I'm going up with the vibrance as well to about, yeah, let's go with 80 or something like that. And let's go and do the lower the blacks or go into the blacks a little bit more. To, let's go with 60 or so and yeah you have to play with the with the highlights and shadows uh, it depends on the image what uh, settings you need um, but for this clarity is definitely a must-have so we have um, now this um, yeah the clarity um, and we have more vibrance and now I'm going to click OK. OK, and now I want to have a little bit more uh, of the details. And for that I'm going to add to the smart object. We are still working with the smart object. I'm going to add a filter, others, high pass. And I choose a mount of, yeah, let's go with around two pixels. As you can see here, um, the details are coming out and that is what we want. So I click OK. And now I'm going to the high pass filter and I double click on this little icon and I change the blend mode. This is very important. You have to click this little icon here and I'm going to uh, linear light and click OK. And now. As you can see, we have now much more uh, details. These little details, I mean, these little details, now I enable the details, and as you can see, they're popping out. So, now <clears throat> I want to have an oil painting style. So, I'm going to filters, stylize, oil paint. And here, I'm going to do with a stylization of 2 and all the other settings I set to 10. They are set here the, um, the settings because I have done this tutorial many times before. So I hope this will be the last recording <laughs> this time. Um, maybe I mess up again. I don't know. Um, I still record it. <laughs> okay. Um, good. Now we are have, we are having this oil, oil painting effect. I click OK. And it's all non-destructive. So if you are not satisfied right now, you can always go back and adjust the settings. OK, but for now I'm going to make a copy of that layer here by dragging down to the new layer. And this time I'm going to rasterize the layer because now I need um, the rasterize, the pixel image. Okay, now we're going to set the, the blend mode to overlay to boost the, 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 the contrast and darken the image a little bit. And we let it add an opacity of 100%. That's perfectly okay. 
Even if it looks too dark right now, we are going to adjust that later. Now, I'm going to the channel, channels panel here. And with the control click, I click into the image. So Photoshop is selecting the highlights and I'm going back to the layers. And now I'm going to copy paste the, the layer or the, the selection. I press control C, control V. And now I have the highlights copied to a new layer. We can have a look. As you can see, we have here the highlights. Now, um, we change the blend mode to vivid light. This gives us, gives us this highlights in the image, which you can see in paintings as well. But it's a little bit too strong, so I'm going to lower that. Let's go with about 80% or so. That's okay. Um, now, we're going to reselect our selection. So I'm going to select, reselect. And we are creating a new layer this time. And with control backspace, I'm going to fill uh, the layer with the background color. As you can see here, we are going to um, yeah, fill it with the background color, in this case, white. Okay, and now we're going to change the, I can get rid of the selection right now, Control D. And now I'm going to change the blend mode to soft light, bam. And as you can see, uh, what this does, it gives us a little bit the, the colors back and uh, it lighten up the image a little bit. Okay, um, now we merge all together as a copy. So Shift, Control, Alt, and E gives us gives us, uh, gives us all the layers uh, in the new copy. And now I want to get um, yeah this. We have to work on the on the on the painting look. So at first I'm going to filter filter gallery. And let's go with artistic. Um, this time go with, uh, let's go with post edge. Let's go into the image and have a look. It looks, it looks great. It looks awesome. This effect is really cool. Right now it's, uh, it's a cool effect. I like it. Um, okay, um, we are going to, the edge, the edge thickness should be zero the edge intensity as well, but the posterization you can crank up all the way. And then I click OK. Yeah. Okay. Good. Now we are at this point. As you can see, uh, we have much more details. It looks much more painted right now. Um, like I said, normally you can stop here and you can go with that if you want. But we need more. I want more. So I'm going to copy this layer by holding down the Alt key and drag it uh, above the last layer here. Or you can drag it down to the new layer icon as well. Okay, and this layer we're going to desaturate. We're going to Image Adjustment and desaturate the layer. And now I'm going to, because now I want to use a filter which uh, normally gives me some no, not so um, fancy colors for that <laughs> image. We are using right now, the, uh, we're going to the filter gallery and let's go to stylize glowing edges. And if you have a colored layer, you will have a really bad coloring, uh, this neon effect here. So um, let's go with uh, edge white of uh, one, uh, edge brightness of two, and a smooth net of one. And I click OK. Um, like I said before, I have made this tutorial several times before I recorded several times before. That's, that is because the settings are in the, here in the settings uh, are the correct settings I made before. So OK, I click OK. And 
Now I'm going to set this to the blend mode screen. This um, screen um, helps us to get rid of the blacks and only um, left the whites in the image like this. And as you can see, it looks pretty awesome. Um, okay, now um, we are going to add a new layer like that. And we're going to fill that because I want to have uh, this grainy look of some, yeah, if you see a, a movie uh, poster, uh, it's uh, very grainy, it has this painted look, this, this printed look, and I want to have that as well. So I'm going to add this new layer, going to edit, fill, and we're going with uh, content here, we're going to 50% gray, and I click OK. Now I want to have some noise, some graininess. And noise is the keyword. I'm going to filter, noise, add noise. And it depends on the resolution of your image. Um, in my case, uh, something about 26 or so, 25 is fine for my image. I click OK. And now um, let's set. Um, Let's go with uh, new blend mode. Um, let's go with uh, overlay. Sorry. Okay, we go with overlay. So we have this grainy look, as you can see here. That's a really cool grainy look right now in the image and here in the face as well. Let's zoom in a little bit. Sometimes Photoshop just hates me. Let's go with that. Okay. As you can see, a grainy look here in the image. It's really cool. Okay. Um, now I want to have um, yeah this, this poster look. Um, posters are on paper and I want to have the paper look here on this image. So I'm going to add an old paper texture. And I have this texture here as well from pixabay.com. I'm going to drag it in and I'm going to rotate it. Let's rotate it so and let's scale it up a little bit so that it covers the image like that. Double click. Maybe I should pay more attention to the rotation but this should be okay. <coughs> now I'm going to set the blend mode of this to soft light. Now we have, as you can see, it's a, this paper look here, but it's too strong. And for that, I'm going to lower the opacity to about 70%. And now, last but not least, um, I'm going to merge all the layers together again, a shift, control, alt, and E. And I'm going to my preferred filter, the camera raw filter. Okay, now I'm going to push the clarity a little bit more up to, let's go with, uh, let's go with 25, 27 or so, so that I have much more of this painted look here. And I bring the saturation a little bit down so that it looks more like a painting, not too much, but just a little bit so that the colors are not too intense. I think this is okay. And then the last step, I probably always do to my images, I'm going to create a vignette. So I'm going with a, uh, this time a really strong vignette here. And I feather it out a little bit here. Let's feather it out. And there we are. Now we have this really cool movie poster painted airbrushed look here and as you can see I'm just going to zoom in a little bit more and as you can see it's looking really amazing. If you're going back to our original image 
and I'm going to enable all the layers step by step as you can see the highlights the white highlights then the the painting the painting effect here the graininess the paper effect and at last but not least again the camera raw filter and it gives us a really really cool effect I like it very much this effect it looks so cool it looks so strong and yeah that's it that's it how you create this effect I hope you like my videos and if you like my videos please subscribe to my channel give me a thumbs up share my videos and if you don't like them give me a thumbs down but if you give me a thumbs down please leave a comment and tell me what's wrong so that I can make it better only constructive critique is a good critique okay again thanks for watching and I see you next time in the next video bye bye